Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Please say hello to Oya. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming back for another video. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure, my dear. Today we have for you, from the brand Zoologist Perfumes, a Canadian brand founded by Victor Wong, Camel. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Are you familiar with this brand? Yes, and I'm really a big fan. You've tried some? Yes. Awesome. I wasn't aware that you did, so that's good. So the house is based all on animals. They're all done with this beautiful graphic. They put them in a tuxedo or in a different kind of outfit, all different types of outfit. And I think yeah. it's one of the nicest indie packagings around. I love the packaging. In my opinion. I love the packaging. Victor Wong, as I said, is the creative director. So this one is called Camel, as I said. This is the packaging, beautiful box that it comes in. It's an X-ray de parfum. Inside is the bottle, which is just as stunning. I love the bottle, it's so gorgeous. There is the Camel. The Camel. The Camel is here. <laughs> so what are the notes for this one here? So I know that the opening is dates and dried fruits. Um, there's rose and myrrh. There's also a libanum, amber, and jasmine um, with some more orange blossom. And okay. why don't you guess the rest? Incense, cedar, cinnamon, musk, oud, sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, mint, and vetiver. He's on fire! How did you know? <laughs> it's on the box. <laughs> <laughs> I've already reviewed this with Steven on his channel. And I simply, simply loved it. This is one of my favorite fragrances of this year. I got to smell about a month or two ago, which is when we filmed it. But I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I was really, really excited for this release. So I'm like, you know, when Carlos told me we we're gonna review it, so I was like, yes! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I knew you would love it. I just knew you would. This is an oriental gourmand head thing. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. It, <laughs> it, it wears, a second. <laughs> it's quite all right. Gush, baby, gush. It wears on the skin beautiful. You get the facets of dried fruits. You get a little florals, but not too much. There's a little incense, a little resinous quality, some woods. It's just really, on my particular skin, wears fantastic. It's so subtle and so rich at the same time. It's and a I'm, really well done oh one. Oh my god, I'm, I'm really a big fan. What are you getting from it? Well, I love that the smooth opening kind of gets you, gives you a little whiff of the, of the dried fruits and dates, mm -hmm. but nothing too sugary, you know, nothing too much, not, nothing tart, just really smooth and soft and just a bit maybe creamy, but... And then I, I get that incense and orange blossom, which I'm a huge fan of orange blossom, mm -hmm. I think that... Yeah, yeah we both are. Yeah. <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've learned that recently, we've been together. So, um, and then the dry down, I mean, I haven't gotten on, I yeah. haven't gotten on on the skin. Wait. Wait, what do you, what do you got? I didn't put it on yet, I forgot. This is something else. <laughs> for later. Silly you Carlos. Me. No, no. <laughs> Good thing I remembered. Look, wait, that doesn't smell like the blotter. <laughs> ah, it's silky. Oh my God, it's so good. But it's a, still not a dry down, so. Let's, let's give it a minute to dry down and see what you think of it. And she has to put it on skin because she likes it so much. <laughs> this was composed by Spanish perfumer Christian Carbonell. He did a really, really good job on this. And I wanted to get it on my skin so I can see how it dries down. And I gotta tell you, I think it's getting, it's not, I think it's getting more rich. And I think it's getting a little dirtier that civet is coming out. I was gonna say. Know, and I love that that oud is finally popping, um, popping out, so. There's a little animalic, slight animalic undertone. The jasmine is a little dirty. Yeah. And dalek, and of course the civet and musk. Yes. But it doesn't overkill. It sits right in the pocket of yeah. all those dry fruits and resin Absolutely. resinous notes. It doesn't get funky. It just gets kind of dirty, but none just, of that stinky, you know, kind of uh, what I, I think some people are afraid of. I think this is like a really polite dry down. Smell this. I mean, 
oh, I think you see, I, I can smell the florals more coming out on you, and I feel like I'm pulling the, the cinnamon and the oud, you know, that's what's kind of jumping on my skin, but I love it. So I'm it has fan. facets. That's yes. great. That's a yes. beautiful thing. Absolutely. This projects nicely, not beastly, but it does have a very nice trail that it will leave when you walk by people. It's just right for yeah, me. I perfect. really, really enjoy this one a lot. I'm a huge fan, and this is going into my collection, so... There you have it. <laughs> I love it. So let's tell them, this is only in a 60 mil size bottle. It retails for 135 You can get it at LuckyScent.com. So love? Love, 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 love. <laughs> Zoologist ending the year in a bang. With that, I would love to offer a 10 mil decant to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, follow all your bar on Instagram, like and share this video, then leave one comment down below with what your favorite zoologist fragrance is or what you enjoyed most about this review of Zoologist Camel. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you have been a subscriber, click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications on future reviews, new content, giveaways, beautiful ladies, and all that fun stuff at BFL. Take care of yourself and we'll see you at the next review.